Hi guys, I hope you all are doing good. Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, let us solve a problem. Uh, this problem is called expression contains redundant bracket or not. So there is uh, no place to submit over here. I mean, if you find the link, you can share it to me. I can submit and then post the solution. But anyway, I have opened my sublime text editor here. So we will code it there. Before that, I encourage you to first pause the video and solve the uh, read the problem statement by yourself. So let us read it together if you haven't given a string of balanced expression. So this is important balanced expression. We will understand what it means further. Find if it contains a redundant parenthesis or not. A set of parentheses are redundant if the same sub expression is surrounded by unnecessary or multiple brackets. So let us understand what it means. For example, if the expression, if the expression is something like this, okay. See over here, A and B are some operands and this plus is an operator. Okay. And over here we have redundant brackets because we don't need, we actually don't need these. A better example would be something like uh, if you had to do like this. Okay. So for example, if this was the expression, see, we don't need the brackets surrounding a, we can just write this like a by b only, right. So that is what they're trying to tell us. We have to check if it contains redundant brackets like this. If the expression is this, we have to return true because it contains. But what if the expression is something like this? For example, A into B plus C. See over here, it does not contain any redundant bracket, I feel. Or let us check what the answer we get. Or maybe better example is if we give something like this, like this, see over here, we need these brackets because it says we have to first add B plus C and then multiply it with A. So we need brackets for the, the uh, this expression and it does not contain a redundant bracket. But this question I feel is somewhat incorrect or it is incomplete, I don't exactly know. Uh, for example, if we consider uh, this expression here, if we consider this expression, uh, not this actually, I had an expression in my mind, just a minute. So for example, if this is the expression, then according to this problem, there is uh, no redundant bracket according to this problem. So this expression according to the problem should return false because it has no redundant bracket. But if you see, if you think in terms of that board mass rule or uh, uh, like precedence, operator precedence, see B into C will anyway happen, right? We don't need to give this bracket. So that is where even I have some confusion, but I just know the logic, how to solve the problem that is given in this article, this article, whatever question is given and the examples are given accordingly, I can get the answer. So whatever I'll be explaining will be according to this, but I don't know about these things. So somebody in the comments, let me know if you have understood the question in a better way, or is the question actually kind of incomplete? Because over here, why do we need these brackets? Or it, I think this is out of the scope for this problem. So, okay, leave all that. Let us consider this example only, okay? Let us consider this example, what we will be doing. I will be telling you two approaches. So first approach, we will be using stack. So how to use stack over here. 
so we will push all the characters except the closing brackets so except the closing brackets push all the characters okay except the closing brackets we'll push all the characters into the stack so how will okay let us traverse this uh, expression now expression is nothing but a string let us traverse this string so let me call my stack as st and uh, when i'm traversing first i get opening bracket okay so i will push the opening bracket then again i get opening bracket let me push it then i get this operand a let me push that also then i will get operator let me push that also then i will get another operand let me push that also in the stack now i will get a i will get a closing bracket now what should i do when i get a closing bracket i will check if top of the stack is opening bracket or not why let us consider this example see if i get any expression like this okay just imagine i have an expression like this so opening bracket closing bracket if i have this expression and nothing inside these brackets then obviously uh this is going to be redundant so if i ever get some condition like this that uh, there is opening bracket followed by closing bracket then it is redundant if there is nothing in between then obviously it is going to be redundant so what i will do first if i get first of all if i get a closing bracket i will check for the top of the stack if top of the stack is a opening bracket then i will return true i will say yes it has a redundant bracket if it does not if the top of the stack is not a opening bracket then i will pop out all the elements from the stack until the top of the stack is opening bracket so in this case for example now i am here what is top of the stack b so you should know stack right it is first in last out so this is the top of the stack now so i will remove all the elements until i get top of the stack as a opening bracket now i have got it after this what i will do i will pop out this element also i have popped out that element now i am going to traverse again i am going to the next character and next character is again a closing bracket but now if you observe the top of the stack is a opening bracket so this is a closing bracket we are currently at a closing bracket and top of the stack is opening bracket that means we have found out a redundant bracket so if this is if the condition is true now that is we got a opening bracket in the top of the stack we return true and if we have traversed the entire string and we did not find any such kind of redundant bracket ultimately we will come out of all the loops and return false so this is the stack approach let us code it now let us code you will understand much better can you all see i feel i should just increase the size so let us take a stack of type character and now let us uh, traverse the string if uh, if the character is not a closing bracket then i should just push the character into the stack because i am going to push all the characters apart from the closing bracket so let us push it to the stack now else what is else it means s of i is equal to closing bracket now first of all i will check if s dot top is equal to the opening bracket that means i have got which expression 
if this is true i have got a redundant bracket like this okay so now i will say c out redundant brackets and i will break out from the loop okay else if this condition is false if top of the stack is not close opening bracket then until i get top of the stack as opening bracket so while stack dot top is not equal to opening bracket until i get a opening bracket i will pop out all the elements from the stack and after i get so over here i think it is better to say stack dot size also just in case see actually this statement is not needed okay this statement is not needed because we are assured that it is a balanced parenthesis it is a balanced expression so if it is a balanced expression you can just ponder about it this condition we don't have to check actually so that is why in the beginning i had told balanced expression that word is important so now s dot pop why did we do this see this while loop is for what this while loop is for finding uh, removing all the elements until we get top of the stack as a opening bracket okay and what is this statement this is removing the opening bracket so we have removed the opening bracket from this so that's all in this loop while we are traversing the string we don't have to do anything else now we will say if i is equal to s dot length that means the entire string is traversed so we will say no redundant bracket so i think i should declare i outside only here let us just check if it is correct or not so i was making the error that i was doing s dot top but my stack is called st so silly mistake sorry for that so let us see if there are other mistakes also Oh, after correcting the errors, see we have got redundant bracket. You can see here for this example, for this example we have got the answer as redundant bracket. So let us test it for uh, some other examples and check. Uh, if I give the string as this one, what will I be getting? for this example that is given in gfg here this example i took and the answer is no and that is also matching over here no redundant bracket but what will be the answer for this one for example a plus b into c or actually don't need these brackets let us see for this so over here it says no redundant bracket but uh, 
frankly speaking, we don't need these two brackets, right? If we use the board mass rule, then B into C will anyway happen before we add it with A. So that is out of the scope for this problem, I think. I don't know, just comment down below. So that was the approach. I hope you understood the approach, the stack approach. So we'll quickly summarize what did we do? We just put all the elements in the stack which are not closing brackets. Okay, whenever we get a closing bracket, we will first check the top of the stack. If the top of the stack is opening bracket, that means we have got a redundant expression. Okay, but if it is not a opening bracket, if the top is not opening bracket, then while the top of the stack is not opening, we will remove all the elements. We'll pop out all the elements and then we will pop out the top element also because uh, we don't need that bracket now. We have got like a balance match, right? So we don't need this. So we will pop out that uh, opening bracket also. And if the loop runs successfully, that means there is no redundant bracket. Otherwise, in between only we will find out a redundant bracket. So I quickly summarized, but if you want uh, explanation, just rewind the video again. So this was the first method. Okay, this is using stack. So we have to use extra space. But do we actually need to use stack? Let us see that. See, let us take some examples to understand the second method. Second method is about comparing uh, Second method is about comparing, uh, comparing what number of opening brackets, number of opening brackets with number of operators and operands. So I shall explain to you what I'm telling. Let us take this example, okay? In this example, can you tell me how many opening brackets are there? So opening brackets, opening brackets is equal to two. Okay. Opening brackets is equal to two. Number of operands is equal to what? Number of operands is equal to So the number of opening brackets is equal to uh, two and uh, number of operands. So number of operators, sorry. So I think I mentioned over here uh, operands also, it is only operators. So we are just comparing number of opening brackets with number of operators. What are operators? Plus into division minus. Okay, so number of operators in this example, how many operators are there? One. So we can observe that number of opening brackets is more than number of operators. So if number of opening brackets is more than operators, we return true that there is a redundant bracket. If number of opening brackets is lesser than or equal to number of operators, then we return false. So that is the second approach. We don't need to use stack. So that's all for this video. I hope you understood the two approaches. The second approach I just told you orally. I think you can quote it by yourself. I've told the logic. Just find out number of opening brackets and number of operators and compare them. If operators is uh, opening bracket is greater oper than operator, then redundant bracket for sure. So you can take some test case examples and dry run by yourself, you will understand this. So if we say, for example, this one also, see there is no operator only over here, but number of opening brackets is one. So that is why it is a redundant expression. So like this idea is generated and we can code it without stack. That's all for this video. If you really liked it, hit the like button. Please share the video with all your friends. It might benefit them and subscribe to the channel. It will really motivate me and uh, take care. Stay safe. Keep learning. Keep growing. Stay tuned. Bye.